Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to show you how to configure the OSPF hello and dead timers. Now the hello timer just tells the router how often it should send a hello message. And the dead timer tells the router how long it's going to wait to hear a hello message from a neighbor. And if it doesn't receive at least one message during that time, it declares the neighbor is being down. Now these are both optional configurations. You don't have to change them if you don't want to. We're going to show you both of these configuration commands and keep in mind that these configurations have to match between neighbors. So the value of the hello timer and the value of the dead timer have to be the same. If they are different, then the two routers will not become OSPF neighbors. So one reason why, why you might have to make a change is if you notice a mismatch and a neighborship is not being formed, then you might have to go ahead and take action. After we cover the configuration commands, then we'll check out some verification commands to then make sure uh, our new values are in place and everything is working. Okay? In our lab, we have two routers set up, A and B, and on router B, we have the default OSPF configuration for serial zero. On a point-to-point -point network type in OSPF, that means the hello timer is set for 10 seconds and the dead timer is set to 40 seconds. We've gone ahead and changed the OSPF timer, uh, both hello and dead, to 2 and 8 respectively on router A. So we'll jump on the router, see what kind of problem that's causing, and then show you how to fix it. Okay, on router A, let's take a look at the neighbors, and quite simply, we don't have any because our, our OSPF timers don't match with router B. So if we take a look at the interface information, you can see here, just like the diagram said, our hello timer is set for 2, and the dead interval is set for 8. Now if you can, enable debug IP OSPF hello and in the logs you'll see something interesting here OSPF mismatched hello parameters from 172.16.1.2 well that IP address corresponds to router B on the other end of our serial link so with debugging enabled we're able to see that quite simply information in the hello packets are not matching and that's why we cannot become neighbors Keep in mind, when, a, when enabling uh, any kind of debugging, it could have an adverse effect on your router. So if it's a production device, be cautious about doing that. So if you want to change our timers, we have to go into the interface. So this is an interface subcommand. And to change the OSPF hello interval, the command is IP OSPF hello interval. And then let's go ahead and set this back to the default, which is 10 seconds. And there's a separate command for setting the dead interval as well. However, let's take a look at the interface configuration now. And you can see our hello timer is, is now set back to 10. And take a look at the dead timer. It was actually 80, or sorry, 8 before, and now it's, it's set to 40. And we didn't actually enter any commands to change the dead interval. Well, what happens is when you change the hello, the dead will automatically be changed for you. Because the formula is the dead interval is four times the value set for the hello. That's why this is 40 and the hello is 10. Okay, so some of the work is done for us. Now, if you wanted to change the dead interval and, and make it something different, you could set this to... By, by using this command, IP OSPF dead interval, and this is where you would set your value. Okay? So now, if we take a look at our neighbors, we have one. Router B has come up, we're in the full state, and that solved the problem. So keep this in mind, if you're, trou if you're troubleshooting two neighbors which are not coming up, one of the things you have to determine is if the OSPF configurations are the same and the hello and the dead intervals must match. 
Okay, so let's summarize what we covered. We now know that we can adjust the OSPF hello interval by issuing the IP OSPF hello interval command. And again, that is an interface subcommand, so you have to be in interface configuration mode to issue this. Likewise, to update the dead interval, use the IP OSPF dead interval command. And if we want to check our work, check the current uh, configuration settings. Aside from checking out the running configuration, you can simply enter the show IP OSPF interface command, and that will tell you the values currently in use by both of these timers. Again, keep in mind these have to match between routers. If they do not, then an OSPF neighbor will not be formed. And if you have to, you can enable uh, IP OSPF debugging, but just be careful that could uh, impact your router's ability to function. Okay? So that's it. That is how you configure the OSPF hello and dead timers. Thanks for watching.